Hey, so I have a few music boxes here that I really enjoy playing with and right now audio wise I can get my synthesizer going, uh, plug it up through my patch bay, add some effects and then into the interface and then onto my computer and I can create some really interesting sounds as well as if I need to change something up as quick as plugging some cables in, it's not behind the machine and it allows me to capture an idea from my head straight onto the machine which is really good but it's something I wanted for my actual MIDI side of things because right now everything's sort of set up in a particular way and I'm starting to get some new sequencer groove box style things where I want to use those types of sequences for this um, music creation but right now if I wanted to do that I have to get in behind the machine and unplug the MIDI cable and plug it into where I need to and it creates a bit of a mess and a bit of tangle and it really sometimes does stop me from capturing a musical idea so I've been in the market for some sort of MIDI interface that I can use to handle a lot of connections because right now I've expanded out I want all my machines to be able to connect and yeah in the used market here in Australia I picked up this little beauty here the M8UEX which is a 16 port MIDI interface so 8 on the front and on the back it's got some extra USBs, uh, it's got the one that goes into your computer and it's powered by itself so it allows it to be used in a standalone version as well as you can connect up to your computer. So in this video I wanted to go through the process of connecting this up to my setup. I might run out of MIDI cables but sort of test out a few ideas mainly can I power some of these um, synthesizers that run off USB on this thing. Uh, how does it all work in standalone as well as connecting it to a computer because one thing is being able to sound design through the computer as well as if someone else is coming around with their laptop they can easily grab a USB dongle and then have the same functionality that I have on my computer but they're able to access all my machines so yeah it should be an interesting one. Alright before I go start unplugging everything and plugging everything into the new MIDI unit how did I have everything connected up before? So each one of these devices they were MIDI in so they didn't need to send MIDI out like I didn't really care about using these keyboards because I've already had one here. Uh, so what I'll do is I used to have my MPC here and then that would be the brain of the setup and then that would control each one of these things and then I'll use the Arturia keyboard here to go into the MPC. So it was a very specific routing that happened here and then the way I controlled the MIDI outs here just so they were getting the right signal as I was using this MIDI through a uh, little chip from Catskull Electronics. Uh, he does a lot of work with Game Boys and he has a few chips there so I would highly recommend if you're looking for specific things uh, go check out his store. Uh, I did have to pay a couple of extra dollary dues for this because I live in Australia but Definitely a good little unit, but because everything expanding and I've got my new table there, I just wanted to get something that was going to last me a lot longer. So the idea now is that this is going to get taken away and then the new unit is going to live under here as well where all the cables are. Like I've got some extra audio leads when I need to, so like this setup can continually grow as I add new units. All right, I'm just going to work here and there's probably going to get a mess of cables, but first off, let's just power up the device and see what's going on. All right, cool. We've got some lights going and then, yeah, so this is currently in standby mode. So there's a few different ways that we can use this thing, like right now it's in pairings, but there's a few other ways. But first things first is I want to power my keyboard from this device. So because it is a USB compliant um, device and it's got a power supply I feel I can get a couple of different synths like um, the Arturia Microfreak can be powered by USB but the keybed sort of gets a bit glitchy but the Poly and Tracker and Play definitely are USB powered and work really well so if I can plug them into straight here that means I can just unplug the Poly and Play or Tracker that I've got set up here and run out the door to do some like out in the field stuff so that's something I really wanted to test out so plug that in Plug that in here and cool that's lit up next I want to connect up this keyboard and from all my readings that in standalone mode you can't get MIDI from this using the interface here you still got to use a MIDI cable so I'm just going to add MIDI and then get the MIDI output here and try and keep it neat with all the cables but if I press that, as you can see, this light here is flashing 
and it's sending it out to this signal because there's a few different ways that we can control our devices and so on this one it's currently taking this input and then sending it there so if I put it into MIDI input 2 as you can see 2 and then 4 is flashing so this allows you to create a whole bunch of pairings with devices so you could have a whole bunch of sequences linked up to one synthesizer and then or you could use the MIDI through of those synthesizers to daisy chain a few different devices here so this is something I've thought about but I think I'm going to use this one which is a MIDI splitter so it allows me to have one input here and then I can connect it to 15 different outputs which I can pretty much output to every device in this room so as you can see when I hit a note all of them flash and then if I go on to the next state you can have a merger so 15 inputs are merged into one output which is insane why you would need that many inputs but they've added it anyway and yeah we'll just go back into this mode so next I'm just going to take my mini log XD and connect it up into port 3 now if I play a note cool uh, the sounds just happening behind me so it might pick up wrong on the microphone here but I'm probably going to work in this mode where I can have multiple outs happening because what I do with my synthesizers is each one has a specific channel so currently that's in one now if I go two which which is currently my mini like XT. So when I'm working in MIDI, so either on the tracker on the computer or with one of my sequences, I can have that point there. So what I probably will do is have this MIDI cable left out and then that can go to the groove box that I'm working with, whether it's the PolyM Play, PolyM Tracker or the MPC 1000, all of it's all connected. Now before I stick it away, I wanna talk about how to connect it to the computer and it is USB 3 compliant. All right, so I've got it in computer mode and I've just plugged it in. So as you can see, all the colors have changed here. And then what the computer can do is actually control these as ins and outs. And what I've done in Renoise is just create a bit of a sequence that will send MIDI to the mini log on one and then the XD will have a different sound. So if I just hit play right now, as you can see, is detected that these are outputs now and then are outputting the signal to each one and then if I was to just stop that so original but when I go to unplug it it goes straight back into that sequence where I can start sending MIDI back out so really cool little box I'm very happy with it there are some other settings for controlling if it's USB 2 or 3 compliant with a little DIN switch that lives underneath but I think like definitely this is going to sit under this area here and then everything's going to connect up to it. So in the end I'm very happy with this unit and it didn't solve everything but when a device solves about 90% of my problems then I think it's a really good purchase and my plan is this is going to handle all the MIDI output so all the synthesizer ins they're going to be connected to this thing and that means that whether it's on the computer or with a groove box it's going to run everything I want and I'm definitely going to keep this little MIDI splitter around because it's really handy. And what I'll probably do is use a Keystep Pro to connect up to here and then split the MIDI keyboard signal to all my group boxes. So then I can pair it with this one as well. So everything will be connected except for one MIDI cable right now that I can pass around to the group box that I want to play with. And I'll probably fix that sometime in the future. But right now, like moving one cable is better than moving every cable. So. I did run our MIDI cables, so I probably need to do a run to JCAR and raid all their DIN sockets, so I'll be really happy to get that underway. But yeah, I hope you found this one useful, and if you did, definitely give it that thumbs up because it does tell the algorithm to point this to other people. And if you have any questions about what was said today, or MIDI, or this box right here, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments below. Happy to help out and give answer any questions, and in the end, I hope you found this one enjoyable to watch and I look forward to seeing you next time.